you to use the principles that you learn, especially during the um, practical part of your education. So your labs, your chemistry lab, your biology lab, good laboratory technique, you get to use that daily. Um, you also get to um, have 100% job placement prospects, which isn't always something that's available for just plain biology. So a lot of biology students don't even know that it's available as an option. So here we are and we're welcoming and we know that you know your lab's um, techniques. So you get to use those to help people. There is, um, there are fewer jobs outside of a medical laboratory that medical laboratory scientists can go into, such as the food industry, pharmaceuticals. A lot of it is within a laboratory, but there is opportunity for advancement. There's different hierarchies. You can use your science skills to help other departments go into infection control in a hospital. It's very flexible. Um, it's just finding the opportunities. One neat thing to me is I used to work in a critical access hospital and I actually used to draw blood. So I got to interact with the patient from the moment that they presented to get their lab work all the way through to the end of their test results to give them to the doctor. I had a patient present with petechiae. I immediately recognized it from my education. Um, she had said that her physician thought she might be having an allergic reaction, but in the back of my mind, I thought, oh no, this actually looks like something I saw in a textbook. So I kept that in mind when I was drawing her and I ran the CBC, so that's a complete blood count that um, tells you pictures like your platelet count, which helps with the clotting of your blood. And the platelet count was very low. So she actually was thrombocytopenic. That's when you have really low platelets and that can present as a rash-like kind of substance. So I called the physician immediately because it was a critical value. And we were able to intercept that patient so that she could go on to um, get the care that she needed in a more specialized facility. So without my work, the doctor might have just thought it was an allergic reaction. So it's very important that lab professionals perform those tests so that the doctor knows for sure what's going on with the patient, since that's 70% of the guesswork of the doctor comes from laboratory scientists. Okay, I'm very indecisive. I changed my college major three times. I thought I was going to go into psychology, but then I thought I didn't really want to do graduate school. And then I changed to nursing and then I decided, well, I don't really want to do that either. <laughs> and I thought back to an experience I had in high school. And that was um, where we got to do internships or like job shadowing, really within um, going to the different departments in the hospital. And I really connected with the people that worked in a laboratory. They were um, intellectuals and their personalities just fit really well with what I was looking for in a career. So um, I went into that, I took science classes. I really enjoyed it. It just fueled my passion to use science to help patients and not have the direct care necessarily. My internship was a year program. So I did the undergraduate courses at a university. The internship itself was all the more specialized science classes, the theory that had to do with the blood work that you're running on the analyzers or the microbiology that we were doing to find out what organism we, or what organism was growing and how to treat it. It was a very difficult clinical year, to be honest, very challenging, very high paced. It went by really fast. I made a lot of good relationships with my classmates. There were only six of us. It was hands-on mentorship the whole entire time. I really felt comfortable after doing that internship to start my first job and I was prepared and I feel like um, OSF St. Francis in Peoria where I did my internship did a wonderful job putting a student 
with a mentor every single day and doing actual lab work and practical lab work. And we learn specialized things all the way from special micro tests to being able to look at people's chromosomes. So that was just an incredible amount of information, a small amount of time. But if you like fast paced learning and challenges, it's really rewarding and you can step into your career prepared. The best part is helping patients, um, helping doctors find out what's wrong with you. And we, we are 70% of all doctors guesswork or um, not really guesswork. We definitively tell them this is the condition that's affecting you and why. And we also look at how their treatment is working or not working. So we look at what's going on inside your body, something that the doctor cannot do without science. So we do the science. And then part of working in a medical laboratory is the hours. It's 24 seven. You have to have a real dedication to help people because you're going to be working holiday rotations. You're going to be working weekend rotations because patients are sick all the time. And it really takes someone that cares a lot for patients to be dedicated to that sort of lifestyle. Absolutely. I think I'm still using the science I learned back in high school, especially the advanced chemistry courses I took. Um, some of those were applied more to biochemistry and, of course, biology and anatomy and physiology. I use all of those classes in my career because I have to understand what I'm doing when I'm producing these results so that these results are accurate and precise and give actual information that a physician can use to treat. For my own personal opinion, my advice I would give to like a high schooler or a college student interested in this career is commit early. The more that you change your major, the more student loan debt that you're going to rack up. And you might have a passion for, let's say, biology, but then you graduate and one day you're like, now what am I going to do? And if you don't know about this career, you might be wandering around and not able to pay off your student loan. But this career has 100% job placement. You will get a job if you graduate with this career. So just early on from practical stance, it's almost similar to having a trade or going to trade school. It's specialized and there's such a need for it that your student loan debt shouldn't be a problem to pay off because you're going to have options. You're gonna have competitive, you're gonna have people competing for you because the career is so vital to the functioning of the hospital. And then one last question and has to do with the automation. And again, keep in mind, we're trying to impress and influence others. Mm -hmm. But talk about the automation in today's modern medical laboratory, even at BJH. Just describe what that's like to the layperson. Okay, so the automation at the Barnes Jewish Hospital, where I work, is a series of robotics. So it moves a sample, it processes a sample. And then it moves samples to different instruments. So those are the machines that we use to obtain the results by combining chemicals with the portion of blood from the patient. And our automation line at BJH is the largest in North America. So we're pretty cutting edge. And we process about 10,000 samples a day. That would be actually impossible to do without automation and the help of this cutting edge technology. Um, it helps us focus more on the troubleshooting of samples or the more knowledge-based working through problems with samples. And it takes off the 
more factory-like repetitive motions that you have to do in a medical laboratory. So it helps you focus on the more specialized cases where you have to use critical thinking. So it's our aid so that we can focus on more critical thinking tasks.